To generate nice looking documents or PDFs with your Airtable data, you can use the document PDF maker. Just create a new project here. We're going to call this order invoice. And we're going to use the orders table as a data source. Once that's created, we can open it in the editor. We're prompted with some templates that we can start with. I'm going to use the invoice template. And when we add it, it's going to switch automatically to our branding. And some of the values in here can come from our project global template variables as well. And I'm going to replace this static value here with the name of the product that was ordered. I'll replace this static price value with a dollar symbol and then the price number from Airtable. And then we'll add the currency there as well. And we'll get rid of this amount column and we'll put the order total here at the bottom. You get the idea. You can replace all of these values. And once you have it all ready, you can just click on publish. And after clicking publish, you'll have a few extra options here. One of them is to just open the PDF directly. So it can take about 10 seconds before the PDF is fully rendered because it has to fetch all of the data and compile it into a template and then create a PDF from that. But if we click this again, it's going to open almost instantly because it gets cached after it's been rendered the first time. So our PDF is ready to use in Airtable now. We can click on the Use in Airtable button, and that's going to give us a URL formula that we can copy. And now we head over to Airtable, to our Orders table, we can create a formula. We'll call it Invoice PDF, and we just paste in the copied formula directly and create. Now if I click on that same URL, we can see it appears almost instantly. If I click on one that I haven't accessed before, it's going to take a little bit longer. So the first click always takes a bit longer. We have all of our dynamic data in there, it's the right person, the right address, the right price. One thing to note about this URL is that it has the modified time in the URL here. So if we change something in here, for example, we can change the name of the customer. We'll change it to Mike Johnson. So now this record has changed. The URL has changed as well. It means that if we click this now, it's going to be at a different URL. So it's not going to be cached anymore. It's going to generate the new PDF with the new values. We've got it changed automatically. Anytime any value has changed here, you can improve the performance of this somewhat by creating a last modified time field and choosing the specific fields that would implicate a change to the PDF and leaving all of the other ones so that it's not any change that invalidates the cached version of the document. It's only changes to the fields that would be visible in the document. And if you use that and create that field, you can replace it or replace this part. Instead, add your own last modified time. And now the behavior will all be the same, except changes to any fields that don't impact the rendering of the document will not cause it to be regenerated. So I've generated this once. And now if I just go and change the status and click on it again, it appears almost instantly because that cache is still applied. I only changed a value that doesn't actually appear on the invoice. Really?